Hello everyone, I'm Salina Dula. I'll be presenting paper on a simple modeling of green roof hydrological performance using response surface methodology. Here are my outline presentation. I'm going to start off with the research background. Green roof has been widely implemented as it helps mitigate negative impact of urbanization such as reducing and delaying runoff, cooling buildings envelopes decreasing air pollution and carbon sequestration. As man stated, and one of the factors influencing the probability of typical roof transforming into a green roof is the slope. If the slope rises, so does the amount of runoff and the peak flow reduction. However, the impact of runoff retention can be seen with the influence of slope combined with other factors such as the nature of the green roof layers and the present or absent of various types of drainage materials. Response surface methodology is an optimization tool that has been widely used for modeling, optimizing, and identifying the interrelationship between investigated factors and observed responses. RSM produce favorable result in hydrological forecasting as well as in the area of geotechnical analysis, concrete production, and analytical chemistry. RSM is an optimization tool used for modeling works and has been stated by Equit to be able to provide the best prediction on parameter optimization. However, the application of RSM in modeling green roof performance has yet been found. The main purpose of this study is to explore the feasibility of RSM in Minitab and investigate the hydrological performance of green roof in terms of water retention, peak runoff, and peak attenuation. There are two main objectives in this study, which is to identify the model equation to predict hydrological performance of green roof by using RSM itself to investigate the relationship between green roof slope, water absorption of the waste materials, and water absorption of the natural fiber on the hydrological performance of the green roof system. RSM in Minitab software was used to generate the module equation that predicts the hydrological performance of green roof. The model was developed using a design method of central composite design. The modeling involves two items, which is the first is the input parameters and the second is the output variables. Input parameters is listed such as green roof slope, what the absorption of the waste materials and what the absorption of the natural fiber. Meanwhile, the output variables is the peak runoff, peak attenuation and the water run retention. The modeling data were obtained from Asman and consists of 27 data. Following the validation of the RSM model, the maximum and minimum values for the hydrologic performance of green roof were optimized. Table 1 showing a definition of green roof by different authors. Figure 1 is showing cross section of a standard extensive green roof which is used in this study. As you can see on the top is the vegetation followed by the substrate, filter membrane, drainage layers, waterproofing, insulation and the structural support. Table 2 is showing the comparison between extensive and intensive green roof system. As you can see in here, the extensive and intensive is being differentiated by different categories such as excess, growing, medium, irrigation, and also maintenance. Table 3 is showing the thickness of extensive green roof layers. Advantage of green roof in sense of the stormwater attenuation, water quality enhancement, 
thermal benefit, noise reduction, A, quality enhancement, and aesthetic. Hydrological process retention and detention responsible for storm water management. Retention process is a hydrological process that helps in reducing the volume of rainfall runoff. Meanwhile, detention process is a hydrological process that leads to delay between rainfall and associate runoff within a green roof. Table 4 is showing the percentage of water retention for different substrate depth by different researcher. Meanwhile, Table 5 showing the percentage of peak runoff reduction done by several researcher in the past few years. There are few factors that is affecting the green roof hydrological performance. For example, the vegetation, the substrate, the rainfall characteristic and the seasonal climates followed by the green roof age as well as the roof slope. Table 6 is showing the summary of past modeling studies of green roof done by several researchers for the past few years. Responsive phase methodology was discovered in 1951 and it is a mixture of mathematical and statistical, statistical techniques for modeling or assessing the effect of new factors. ANOVA is used to evaluate the degree of accuracy of the established model, which is based on the responses used in the investigation. And RSM provides the best prediction on the parameter optimization, and it helps in reducing the amount of laboratory work due to its statically modeling prediction. This figure is showing the structural configuration of RSM model. In this study, RSM is used in modeling, optimizing, and identifying the interrelationship between input parameters and observed result. As mentioned before, there are 27 data experimental from Azman were collected to develop the models. The input parameters is green roof slope, water absorption of the waste materials, and water absorption of the natural fiber. Meanwhile, the output variables is the peak runoff, peak attenuation, and water retention. Figure 3 is showing the methodology of the flow chart. As you can see, it started with the data collection, followed by the RSM method methodology result and discussion and end with conclusion which will accommodate these two objectives. Table 7 is showing the data that is used in the modeling. As you can see on the right side is the materials that is being used in this study. Table 8 is showing the factors and factor level adopted for RSM in this study. As you can see, the factors include the slope, the water absorption of the waste materials, and water absorption of the natural fiber. And each of these factors is coded by alphabet A, B, and C, and the factor level of code is divided into two which is the low level and the higher level through ANOVA the test parameter on the test outcome are indicated by the p-values from the analysis if p smaller than 0 0.05 the parameter is known as statically significant 
if p is more than 0 0.05, the parameter is considered statically insignificant. And the general mathematical equation based on ANOVA is shown in equation. The regression analysis was then performed using the plotted fit line of projected value versus the experimental value obtained by the program. The graph is used to calculate the R squared value. The closer the R squared number to 1, the better is the model. The relationship between input parameters for each of the output variables was developed by mini tab software. In the 2D counter plot, the darker the color, the higher the output value, while the lighter the color, the lower the values, the output values. Optimization between input parameters of RSM model. The graph created by Minitab software show the minimum and maximum slope, water absorption of waste materials and absorption of the natural fiber that lead to minimal and maximum peak runoff, peak attuation and water retention of the green roof. Table 9.1, 9.2, and 9.3 is showing the analysis of virions for peak runoff, peak attuation, as well as water retention. From the modeling, mathematic equation was generated. There are three equations. The first equation will be the peak runoff. The second equation will be the peak attuation and the third equation will be water retention whereas the A representing the slope, B representing the water absorption of the waste materials and C is the water absorption of the natural fiber. From the regression analysis, figure 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3 is showing the R squared value is all acceptable. And the value for all of this analysis can be seen in table 10, which showing that the peak runoff is 0 0.960, peak attuation is 0 0.932, and water retention is presenting the value of 0 0.948. Figure 5.1, 5.2, and 5.3 is indicating the counterplot related to peak runoff. From the counterplot, it is showing that the darker the color, the higher the output value, while the lighter the color, the lower the output value. The same goes with the peak attuation. As you can see, the 2D counter plot indicate the highest and the lowest region of peak attuation. Water retention counter plot can also be seen through figure 7.1, 7.2, and 7.3. From all the analysis of the counter, it can be concluded that the optimization of the hydrological performance of green roof were performed to achieve the maximum and the minimum value. Table 11 is showing the optimization result for green roof hydrological performance. It can be seen that slope of the green roof system increases. Meanwhile, the peak attuation and the water retention of the green roof system decreases. However, the peak runoff showing opposite effect. It also can be seen from the analysis that the peak runoff and the peak attuation gives higher value when water absorption of waste material at its maximum values. However, water retention will be at its lowest. As the water absorption of natural fiber increases, the peak runoff increases, 
while peak attenuation and water retention decreases. Therefore, it can be concluded that the mathematical equation generated by the model with Minitab software are capable in investigating the green roof hydrological performance. Here are the reference, a list of reference. I would like to thank the Research and Innovation Management Center, UMS, for providing the financial support under Grant SGA. It is deeply appreciated. Thank you so much. If you have any question, feel free to email me at salinadi at ums.edu.my.